And we begin with breaking news at 6. The NAACP Greater Grand Rapids branch is not happy with any of the candidates hoping to become Grand Rapids next police chief. The city's three finalists took part in an open public forum last night. 13 on your side's Charlie Tinker just spoke to NAACP leadership. He joins us now with more on what they said, Charlie. Well, Juliet Kirk, uh, they essentially told me they want the city to scrap the whole thing and start from scratch. Take a listen to that. I do want to put out there. I want to give credit to the city of Grand Rapids uh, for doing a great job at uh, making an effort. However, when it comes to the decision making for the screening and for the selection of the top candidates, community members had no involvement in that decision making. And we see that in the results. We have three men and only one of them is a person of color, no women. Oh, he also told me they would be uh, issuing a letter as soon as tomorrow uh, calling on the city to do basically that much or at least tap the brakes on the whole effort, revisit uh, some of the practices they recommend, how they would like to see the whole process go. They also took issue with one candidate in particular, Dutiki Jackson, uh, stemming from a controversy back in the 90s. Uh, he is a retired uh, police inspector from Wisconsin. It all centers around an accidental discharge case. Uh, they would like to see that examined a little bit more closely. And for the city's part, you know, they have held as many as 30 public input sessions. That is the most recent number they gave us. But breaking down the candidates uh, for you here is uh, what they're taking issue with. These are the three finalists. They include current Battle Creek Police Chief Jim Blocker, who says he wants to help GRPD focus on community engagement. The second retired Milwaukee Police Inspector Jutiki Jackson, who uh, last night addressed again those reports that surfaced of his involvement in that uh, deadly officer-involved shooting back in 1997. The third commander. Eric Winstrom from the Chicago Police Department, who says he has wanted to change policing uh, since he was a child. City Manager Mark Washington, meanwhile, expected to make a decision by early or mid-February once he gets some additional public input in. City encouraging residents to weigh in on the candidates uh, between now and next Wednesday as part of an online survey. We do have a link to that online survey. In addition to complete candidate profiles and copies of the resume, you will find that right there at 13onyourside.com.